Hi, um, this is another episode of Joe's Kitchen, by this time we're going to let you see really what's going on. The sink is full of dishes. I'm so sorry. I just got home again and I had to set to this up. So, um, do you remember that girl you, you couldn't see before, huh? Well, here it is. The uh, smokeless power grill, right? Da -da -da, right? So this is the grill, not the griddle, okay? So what I'm going to do is, not much room here because the camera's sitting on my usual comfort space. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how this operates. Okay, that comes off, that's the lid. This is a good griddle. There's also a grill. Okay. This is a griddle. Alright? Can you see that? Or oh, I'm moving too much. Anyway, there's the grill. Alright? Now, maybe you can put word out that, that I need a kitchen helper. Or, you know, a wife. Maybe? No, no, I don't think why. Anyway, so the next thing that happens is this thing comes out. Alright? So, you can see on this thing, there's fan, and there's things. So when you press the power on this, you may not be able to see this when it happens. But when you press the power, this thing, you press a plus, and this turns blue. And then you press plus again, and this part turns blue. Press plus again, and this part turns blue. And it starts going up until you get to the point where you want, where you're satisfied where the heat is. So why am I doing all this? Well, I've forgotten an element here. Um, down in here, there is a water dish, which must be filled when you're using the grill. So... I'm going to get some water. I'm out of the picture now. I'm going to see if I can get some water fast enough that it makes sense. I keep talking to you. Okay, so I've got some water. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is open this water. Then I don't have to fill this right up. Just enough to take in the fat. Okay? The fat that's going to come off the meat. Okay? So that's the thing that comes off the meat. Now, realize that this is all plastic. Fairly easy to clean, but fairly easy to catch fire. So I don't run this thing unless I got a great big fire extinguisher handy. Alright? Now, um, I'm really a salesman for these people. Eh? So anyway, um, I love this thing. This thing is great. Okay? So now we're putting it back together again. Okay? In the order in which we took it apart. Okay? So it's in, uh, in there now. Then I put the grit on it. Right? Okay? Right? Okay. Noisy. Now, what we do next is we put that in there. Okay? Now that water bottle can't go there. You don't pour water on a grease fire. So, you plug this in like this. Okay, you can see the whole thing just popped blue, right? So I press power, then I press plus. You can see it came out in the hair, right? Press plus again. Press plus again. And that's about as high as I want to go, a little higher. And now it's going to go and it's going to blink like that until it reaches the heat it's supposed to be at. While it's doing that, okay, this is really handy. This is super handy for grilling because you don't have to, uh, you don't have to do so much flipping. While it's doing that, I'm going to, and this is the wrong knife. So let me get her the right knife. Okay. 
Remember the categories for your nines. What are the categories? Stabbing, spreading, and sawing. And slicing. <laughs> so there you go. Okay? Now, I can feel the heat coming from that thing right now. Okay? So I got paper on this burger. Still. I'm trying to pick that off. Got a cold burger. Okay, so these are out of the freezer. They're frozen. Okay, so I'm going to put one here. You can hear it's already cooking. And one here. And then I'm going to put my... I wish they wouldn't do this. Why do they have to label every single pepper? Every single orange? And every single apple? Why do you think we're going to run around shoplifting the peppers? Anyway, there you go. Okay. Now I do have palms here. Okay, now you can see, you see how this is laying up? See that? That's telling you how hot it's getting. I'm telling you how hot it's getting. Right? And, um, so, you know, I'm fairly relaxed around this thing now. Now, you can also put the fan on if you want, but I don't use the fan much because, um, it creates a lot of boo, 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 right? So, we're not going to use the fan today. Alright? The fan is actually a round fan in the back there. It spins, and because it's so hard to clean, I don't like using it. So, but this is a beautiful little unit. Now I can put the lid on this, like this. You see? There. Now it starts cooking. Okay. Now I gotta figure out what what to talk about while this is cooking. So, um, anyway, this is episode number four, and as you know, our blog is the Black Dog Communicator Online. Now, I'm frustrated with this blog because, um, the coding is not working properly, and, um, Google doesn't seem to have corrected the problem. They just brought in a new dashboard, which is making it really difficult to go. So, you may have a little gap between the time that this gets onto the, 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 uh, the blog. Now, the website is something entirely different. The website I am very proud of, and um, it, uh, it's just brand new. Yeah, I'm trying to build it up. There are limitations to that too. There are limitations to everything in life. But, um, anyway, so much for, for that, my complaint. Um, so, anyway, uh, we don't know quite what's on here. So, what happens is that uh, the website is called the bdot.com. And it's all one word, the bdoc.com. Pretty cute. But you can't be, um, what's that called when you change the letters back, side, forward, dyslexic? Right? Because it'll really screw you up, and it screwed me up a couple of times. So, um, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're not talking about dyslexia here. We're talking about cooking. Right? So, what do we do with this? Alright, so we got this started, right? So I'm going to take the lid off again. You can hear the noise of it cooking. So we turn it over and you can see.
Okay, I'm just giving you a demonstration of how this thing operates. You know? And the beauty of this is you can have grilled meat in the middle of winter, right? Indoors. But you have to be careful not to get greedy, okay? This isn't for cooking for 16 people. This is for cooking nice little intimate party of one or two. <laughs> you can't do an intimate party. But anyway, uh, so two people, Max and the dog, right? Uh, so you, that's what you're cooking for. And I had this loaded up last time I had it. We didn't load it up. I had it loaded up with zucchini. I put zucchini on this. See, so we're almost done here. You can tell that's almost done. Right? So I, um, I had zucchini on this and then I had, uh, what did I have on this before? Um, zucchini. You can actually barbecue sweet potato if you slice it thin enough. Sweet potato will go on there. Uh, and then you can build your veggies into your burger. Right? They become like really cool, right? You can hear it's really snap crackling and popping there. And I just want to make sure we're, uh, we're cooked right to the middle. There, right? So it's tough to tell with these burgers because Angus is a big tough meat. Man. No, we still need a little. That center there is a little weak. So we need a little more. Huh? A little more smoky bokey on it. All right? Uh, I think you could probably do four people on this, right? But, um, you just take your time. You gotta be relaxed with it. You gotta, you gotta feel like you're in charge. You know? Uh, you're the grill master, you know, and all that stuff. Right? And, uh, but yeah, yeah, you wonder what this is? <laughs> I'm giving birth to the alien. <laughs> I'm pregnant with the alien. Anyway, no, it's just something I keep. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, anyway, so what else is there to talk about? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We can sing Christmas carols, but. Um, I mean, Carol's not here, so, um, I think we're done here. That looks like a burger that's cooked to me, and that looks like a burger that's cooked to me. So we are now done. We're going to pronounce it done. So to turn it off, obviously you hit power, all right? Now you've still got a hot thing here, so you be cool with it. Then you unplug it. Oh, it. I was, I was unplugged it. I didn't turn the fan out before I unplugged it. Probably damaging the works, but uh, anyway, so I just sit that there, and that will cook on its own. And we are done. So don't forget to subscribe, or you won't get any more Philly's Kitchen. Okay? So this is called Phil's Kitchen. My name is Phil, and um, um, what can I say? Okay, the uh, YouTube address is Phil Musgrave. The um, blog is the Black Dot Communicator Online, which is my company. The website is the B Dot Dot Com. The B Dot Dot Com, like the one that you got to put. The B and the D together, and you don't know which one's the which because they're on the typewriter key 
or the keyboard key. And, right? Okay, thanks for watching and have a good time.